Campaigners have told 10 News athletes subjected to homophobic taunts should be urged to take the offenders to court under proposed new anti-discrimination laws. As Ali Southwood explains, for the first time in Australia, discrimination on the grounds of sexual orientation could soon apply to players, coaches and spectators. Some fans just love getting stuck into our sports stars. But hurling homophobic abuse could soon become illegal under new laws being considered by the government. We do think they're a good thing. Beyond Blue believes that this sends exactly the right message. When Collingwood's Dale Thomas dobbed in a fan this year for yelling racial taunts at a Gold Coast player, the option was there for legal action. But if the comment had been homophobic, the player would have no legal protections under current federal law. Now the government is looking to consolidate five separate discrimination laws into one comprehensive bill. And for the first time, it will include protections for sexual orientation discrimination in any areas of public life, and specifically the sporting field. Because sport has tended to be an area where it's very difficult to admit your sexuality. At an Australian touch football camp in Sydney today, there was wide support. I think it will create a more safe environment around sport. It takes out that grey area. I know of uh, the odd PE teacher that uh, when they used to play a certain sport that uh, they encountered some difficulties at the time So, and they didn't continue to play because it was too much of an issue. Under the proposed new laws, the option for prosecution will be there. The real test will be whether people take that step and go ahead with legal action. Look, I suppose I hope they don't uh, go after someone for an occasional comment, but if it's continuous, if it's seriously unacceptable, uh, well, look, this is causing harm to gay and lesbian people. Public hearings on the draft bill start in Melbourne this week. Ellie Southwood, 10 News. Coming up, court...